gotta be kidding me. You're gonna re No funny business, Colonel. These are dangerous people. You, we're, we're here to save you. You were gonna save me? Mm -hmm. Really? This is the famous... And... Yes. Fuck's sake. Here's the deal. We failed the mission. Duck. What? No. If you cough without covering your mouth... Harley. Although, that isn't... You're supposed to be decisive. And I've decided that you should eat a big bag of dicks. Put penises all over the beach. Who knows why madmen do what they do? This is suicide. Yeah. Oh, well, that's kind of our thing. When you get you out of your life. I'm going to get you out of here alive. Freaking tied you up in this shit! Uh-huh. All low for us. Popped a brand new Red Band trailer confirming that the movie will be rated R. See, because we just got done watching the Snyder Cut. I'll also explain how this Harley Quinn are all coming back from that first film. So it isn't repeat events of this film. And they finally confirmed who the real villain of the DC fandom. They released the footage with a bunch of behind the scenes. And you could actually see. I love the way they reference it within the context of the movie too. Like the suicide out. But King Shark obviously hilarious during the trailer. It'll be fun to see him doing the motion capture for him. He's playing the physical King Shark when he's running around on a character. My assumption was is that he was going to be King Shark. And they would just do a king to be the voice of Starro. Because what would be funnier than a Kiwi sounding like a corkly in the trailer is John Ostrander's big cameo scene squad in the comics. But I'll explain who the rest of the characters are if you're not totally getting you to care about the C and D list characters that you never thought that you would. Multiple villains, but Starro just happens to be the biggest villain. Literally inside, you could try and save me again. Don't worry. The opening scene here also gives you a really good team. And Rick Flagg wants to save Harley Quinn because she is a member of prison is because his character shot Superman, Henry Cavill's Superman Justice League movie. So here's where we get to the timeline and we get into a little bit of considering the canonical ending of the Justice League film is this moment here where they're all getting his jacket and flying off into the sky. And that's the end of the movie. After that, Henry Cavill's Superman gets shot by Bloodsport using a of the first Suicide Squad film. I don't know how long after the first Suicide from that first team. We have the same Amanda Waller who's back playing the character, but has gone down and Starro is involved. But there's also this big coup and bad to worse to even worse through the film. They do a little bit of a roll call Captain America you've ever met. Like Captain America, if he acted more like basically built to be a spinoff of this new Suicide Squad film. So we'll get the Suicide Squad. It'll be like the big budget DC series, like the Batman HBO film, but it'll also cover his origin story and it'll involve a lot of character Suicide Squad film. They use the rest of this opening scene save to introduce Pete Davison is playing Blackguard. Sean Gunn is playing, playing a character called TDK, which isn't a name from the comics, but fall off man. Detachable, arms fall off, his powers are bases in the comics. Hello, I'm King Shark. I'm a shark. I was so the Flash season 4, I think it was. I wasn't super happy with the way they did the best possible way. They're also doing Mon Gal from the comics. She's a version of Mon I don't know if they're going to have any War World Easter eggs during this or not. Harley Quinn's events of the Birds of Prey movie. Movies in the DCEU tend to move in a linear throne back in Bell Rev prison. David Dasmalshian, you might recognize from he is a comic book character. He's playing Polka Dot Man. Just as ridiculous. It's weird to see a YouTuber show up in a movie this big in a role that big. They do another montage introducing you to some of the newer, weirder film, but I feel like it got so muddled and they had like two different intros for he knows his comics. He's a longtime comic book stan. And he's got a print to John Cena go on about how he would love to eat all the dicks on the beat. Line like that. Like, wait a minute, you want me to say what in this movie? The whole thing that that's how it wound up being in the actual movie. It sounds like based on the tease and whatever the actual mission is, what it is that they're actually going for in the actual movie. The whole thing with them hyping up the tagline, don't get too attached because some of them might wind up dying. James Gunn didn't say how many an improvement from the first film. But apparently DC liked what he did, so it's supposed to take place between Bell Rev and Cortol Maltes. If you're not poor in the Marvel comics, it's just a place where a lot of really shady people go to do let James Gunn crank all the dials up to 11. But if you spotted any big e fandom, so I'll link that down in the description below and some of the other DC fans this time. While you wait for everything, everyone click here for my brand new Justice League Snipe watching. Everyone stay safe and I'll see you guys tonight.